Hi, my name is Sebastian Matteau and today I want to tell you all about unpacking tuples and other iterators in Python. Now, let's start uh, with the first things first. What is an iterator in Python? Well, an iterator sounds kind of like a technical complicated term, but it's really not. An iterator is just any kind of Python object that has multiple elements in it. Now, you, if you know a little bit of Python, you've encountered iterators before. For example, uh, here are a few iterators that you will see all the time, tuples. So here we have a tuple of the elements one, two, and three. So a tuple of int uh, values. Uh, a tuple is indicated by these parentheses or simply by uh, uh, values separated by a comma. So depending on the context, the parentheses are needed or not. Uh, below that you have a list. A list is indicated by square brackets around the elements. So this is a list of one, two, and three. Tuples and lists are very similar. Um, the main difference is that the tuple cannot be modified. It is what they call immutable, uh, whereas a list can be modified. So it is mutable. In other words, once you have defined a list, you can change the elements in a list. Whereas once you have defined a tuple, you cannot change the elements in the tuple. You would have to create a new tuple with different elements. But other than that, they are very similar in many ways. Uh, then we have a dict, which is also an iterator, but a kind of a special one because a dict it is a sequence of key value pairs. So in this case, we have the keys are the A, the B, and the C. The values are one, two, and three. And A, the key A maps onto the value one, the key B maps onto the value two, and the key C onto the value three. Now, so the, the elements in this dict are these key value mappings, right? So the first element is A mapped onto one, the second element is B mapped onto two, etc. Uh, so it's a bit of more, a slightly more complicated type of iterator than the tuple and the list. And then finally we have the set, which is also a standard uh, iterator in, in Python. Uh, not used all that much. Um, it is indicated as a dict by these, uh, by these curly braces. And essentially it is a, an unordered collection of unique elements. So it's like a mathematical set, right? Each element can occur only once and they don't have any specific order. Now, so those are the iterators and you've, you un, you've undoubtedly encountered iterators before while programming with Python. Now, how do you create an, an iterator? For example, here in this tutorial, I will mostly use tuples. So how do you create a tuple? Well, you simply do an assignment and then on the right hand side of the assignment, you create a comma separated list of the, of the elements. So this is a, this is a tuple of four city names, Marseille, Groningen and Buenos Aires. Now, if I print out cities, and I see what kind of type it is, you will see uh, that this is the cities variable and it is a tuple, right? So it is, uh, that's simply how you define a tuple. Very simple. Now, what is kind of special in Python is that you can also have multiple variables, multiple variables on the left-hand side of the assignment, right? Having multiple variables on the right-hand side of the assignment as here is not really that special. But here on the left-hand side of the assignment, we also have multiple variables. And then we get what, what is called unpacking or multiple assignment. So you can basically see what's happening here, right? Marseille gets assigned to city one, Groningen gets assigned to city two, Buenos Aires to city three, and Mumbai to city four. Let's print this out. Up, city one, city two, City three, city four, let's run it. And you see it works, city one, say up. Now, um, here we have actually explicitly defined the tuple, but we can also simply put the cities variable here, right? Cities has these four elements in it. And we can also just unpack this variable cities onto these four variables here on the left-hand side. And this is tuple unpacking multiple assignment. A very, very cool trick in Python. Now, um, here in this case, this cities uh, tuple is flat, right? There is no hierarchy in it because each element in the tuple is just a single string. But you can also have nested or hierarchical uh, tuples, as you see here. These are the cities grouped by continent. And then you see that Marseille and Groningen are grouped together in a tuple. Uh, the next one is not a tuple, but it's just the name Buenos Aires. And then we have uh, another single name Mumbai, right? So this is Europe, this is South, uh, South America, and then we have Asia. So you could say the hierarchy here is we have first a, 
uh, a tuple of two, x, y, oh, just to kind of indicate the structure, x, y, and then we have a sing single value of a and b, right? So that's kind of the structure that this, this nested uh, tuple has. It is nested because we have a tuple inside the tuple. Now we can unpack this in a, in a way that we did before. And then we get, you get, for example, this. Oh, South America, comma, Asia is cities by continent. Let's print them out. Europe, print South America, print Asia. Up. And you see that this works, right? So the, this first tuple gets assigned to, uh, to Europe. Buenos Aires gets assigned to South America and Mumbai gets assigned, assigned to Asia. That's just the same that we did before. But what we can do, and that's pretty cool, we can unpack the European cities in one go by essentially having the left-hand side of this assignment mimic the structure of the tuple on the right-hand side, right? So we just mimic, we just indicate, okay, Europe is actually a tuple that consists of two cities. And then we unpack that right away. Print. Europe too. And now you see we have unpacked this nested iterator, this nested tuple or hierarchical tuple in one go into four variables, simply by making sure that the left-hand side of the operator, the left-hand side of the assignment mimics the structure of the right-hand side of the assignment. Very cool trick, extremely flexible, extremely powerful, very Pythonic, I'm inclined to say. Now, uh, we can do more things with iterators and unpacking. Say that we have an iterator that had, and you don't know how long the iterator is, right? So far we know we've defined the iterators ourselves, the tuples ourselves. So we know that they have contained four cities, but say that we don't know that. Then we can do what is called star unpacking or extended iterator unpacking. And this I should point out is only supported in Python 3. So this will give you a crash if you try it in Python 2. And the idea is simply this, right? Say that we have city one, and what we do, I'll just type it. What we specify here is that we want to get the first city from the cities tuple, assign it to city one, and everything that remains gets assigned to rest, which becomes a list. If I print this, you will see that this works. Up. You see that Marseille gets assigned to city one and rest becomes a list that contains the rest, right? All the other elements from the tuple. Um, we can also say that we want to, for example, take the last city four, then we can also do this. Basically we say, okay, the first city should go into city one, the last city go, should go to city four, and everything in between should go to the rest, right? So rest becomes Groningen and Buenos Aires. Very flexible. We can even say, okay, we know that there are two cities in the beginning, also two cities in the end, and everything that remains should go to rest. Uh, and now you see that rest actually becomes empty, the empty list, because we have only four cities in, in, in our cities tuple, and they've all been eaten up by these variables, city three, city four, city two, and city one, right? So, and this star operation, this star, uh, star unpacking is a very powerful way if you to unpack uh, lists or tuples if you don't know in advance how long they are. Right, then you just basically unpack, you store everything that remains in a single rest variable. Now, so, so far what, what I've done is sh uh, use uh, tuples, right? Cities has been a tuple here, uh, but this unpacking works with any kind of iterator, tuples, lists, dictionaries, sets, but also iterators that you define yourself. So here we have a generator function, one, two, three, and I'm not going to explain the semantics of generator functions here. Basically, you should think of this as a custom function that generates one, the values one, two, and three. If I say, okay, for i in one, two, three, print, up. you see the idea, right? We call this function and we can loop through this function as though it is a list or a tuple or whatever. It is an iterable, a generator function, and it returns one, two, and three. Now, even here with these kinds of things, we can still use uh, uh, unpacking exactly in the way that we can also use it for, uh, for tuples and lists and what have you. Simply because unpacking is a very general, a generalized property of Python, 
right? So we can unpack the first value that is yielded goes to A, the second value that is yielded goes to B, and the third one goes to C. Uh, that's pretty cool. You have to be a little bit careful though, because iterators are allowed to be infinite. So, so far we've, we've have uh, seen iterators that are all finite, right? Uh, in this case, the one, two, three generator gener gen has a length of three. But here we have an iterator, again, a generator function that is infinite. So it generates an infinite range of numbers uh, that uh, it, from zero up to, up to infinity. So to, to demonstrate how it works, what we can do is for i in range or in infinite print i. Now, if I would if I would execute this, uh, uh, <laughs> i Python would freeze, right? Because it goes looping through an infinite range of numbers. So what I say is, if i is uh, is three, for example, or five, whatever, break. Just so to make sure that the loop breaks after a while. You see it works, we get a list 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or a list, we get a range of numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. But if I hadn't broken with this explicit statement, it would have gone on forever. Now, how can we unpack this? Well, essentially we can't. So if I would say A, B, C is infinite, uh, it says too many values to unpack, unpack, expected three, right? Because I expect to unpack three variables. Now you could think, okay, let's put the rest into a rest variable. If I do this, uh, the universe will break essentially because it will unpack the f zero into A, B becomes one, C becomes two, and then the Python interpreter will keep looping infinitely, adding numbers and numbers to the rest variable. So I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to, to execute this because it will, would actually freeze. Um, in other words, tuple unpacking with infinite iterators, either does not work or it will freeze your computer. It's generally a bad idea. So if you're going to unpack things, make sure you're dealing with finite uh, iterators. Okay, now um, I've already mentioned that the dictionary, a dict, is also a, uh, an, a, an iterator. It's also something that you can loop through. Um, a dict is a as I already said, an unordered collection of key value mappings, where for example, here the key Sebastian, uh, the name and the age is 34. Um, and the elements of this dictionary are these key value uh, mappings. Okay, um, I say unordered in a sense, and that this means that obviously there is some kind of order. Everything always has to, be, has to have an order, but the order is unpredictable. In Python 3.6, the order is actually preserved. That is a new feature of Python 3.6, but the Python developers explicitly say that you should not rely upon the fixed order of a dict object. So treat dict objects as though they have no particular order. Now, let's first take a look what happens if I loop through, an, uh, through a dict. Um, for name in names and ages, print name, right? So if you loop through a list in, uh, if you loop through a dict in this way, you get the keys, only the keys, not the values. So here you get the key. You actually see Maria comes first, right? There you see the fact that it, the order is not preserved, then Buffy, then Sebastian. Now, uh, following this principle, you can already kind of predict what will happen if I do this. Name one, name two, name three is names and ages. Print name one, name two, name three. Up. This works, right? So I can unpack a dict directly, just like I can unpack the pack a tuple and the and the list. But what I get are the keys, only the keys, so the names in this case, name one, name two, and name three. So say that you want to unpack the unpack not only the names uh, but also the ages in this case. So not only the keys but also the values. You can do that, but you have to make use of the fact that dict dot items. That I'll just print it out. Uh, and ages dot items is that the items uh, function returns tuples of keys and values. Now, once we know that, we can use that to do this kind of nested unpacking. Namely, we can say name one comma h one comma name two comma h two. Right? Get the trick. Name three comma h three. And then we say print up is oh, right up, ah, 
is years old name one comma age one tup, tup, two three three two and there we go so this works Maria is 20 Buffy is 7 and Sebastian is 34 okay and this works because we essentially this items the items function returns a nested uh, a nested iterator you could say a list of tuples and we we simply mimic the structure of this nested iterator on the left hand side of our assignment and therefore it works so Sebastian well uh, the first name goes to the name one second the, the value the age goes to h1 etc right so you can un properly unpack dict uh, dic dictionaries as well but if you want to get the values you need to use this items function okay now finally let's take a look at a set not because you'll probably use uh, use a set all that much but just be unless maybe if you're a mathematician because it's kind of a mathematical construct but just just to show you that it also works with sets let's take this Fibonacci series um, the first uh, first five elements of the Fibonacci series and let's print it out now here we see something weird right we've it we've put in one one two three five and what we get back is one two three five the reason is simply that a set consists only of unique elements so if you repeat elements uh, they will simply not be uh, not be added right so if I do this it will be the same set um, and you can also uh, simply up a comma B comma C comma D is Fibonacci print a comma B comma C comma D up and it works right so we can also unpack sets just in exactly the same way that we unpack tuples and lists and just assign them to a b c and d right and we have four variables because the set here consists of actually only four elements because the the one is a duplicate so counts only as one element right now okay that's all I had to say. I think now you know everything pretty much there is to know about unpacking or multiple assignment in, uh, in Python. So uh, thank you very much for your attention.